configuring continuous integration on Azure. First, we need to do is have our um, create our repository in GitHub. So, say I am going to create a new project, new repository. Let's say it's going to name like test Azure deployment. That's going to be my name. Um, I'm going to put to put it public since I don't really use GitHub a lot. I use Team um, Visual Studio Team Services instead. Uh, we get um, so now we are going to initialize this. It, if we know that we are going to have a Visual Studio project, so it will be a good idea to configure the git ignore file um, for Visual Studio, right? So that's that's our initial configuration. I am going to initialize the repository re readme file just so it doesn't have, just so it has something from the start. Now I am going to clone this um, <coughs> repository on my disk. I am going to clone it. Um, this directory so I'll delete this and I'll recreate it um, okay demo test git Azure deployment I'll just create it there okay uh, I did it backwards. So here, there it is. This is this is a Git repository, right? So now I'm going to copy it to this demo test Azure deployment. That's where I'm going to clone it. So I start to clone it. I pull the changes, right? Pull everything. For the sake of it, and I see that I have everything there. I can um, go and open this in Explorer, and I see that's what I have. So now I'll copy this path and I'll create a new MVC application. First, uh, I'll create a new MVC application, so I'll create a new project. I'll set it to ASP.NET Web Application Net Framework. So it's going to, to go to this. So demo deployment. Wait. Demo deployment solution. Okay, there it is. Create an MVC, right? Okay. So now we just wait for it to be created. Okay, so now we see our um, project here. We are connected to this test git Azure deployment. Let's see. Demo test git Azure deployment. Okay, which is the same path where we just copied or um, we just created. So now <coughs> let's commit. I love it. Uh, changes. I want initial project, initial DS project. 
let's just commit everything, let's sync our changes just so it's it's there okay everything is updated um, let's verify this github here so yep everything is pushed Now what we can do is um, let's push this application. Let's publish this application into Azure. So I publish this. Uh, I'm going to create a new resource group. I am going to name it Demo Deployment uh, Web. I'm going to name that's for the web app. I'm going to create a new resource group, which is RG Demo deployments. I am going to create a new application service plan. Application service plan demo deployments and that's it. Okay, let's create You will start configuring our application service into Azure in Azure um, so we can publish afterwards. Okay, so now um, it's uh, requesting us for more configuration but this time for the publishing uh, I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to leave the default options in this case because there it's a test project and there's really nothing to configure there so it's already starting to publish this um, application into Azure once that's finished we can start configure the continuous integration using um, GitHub. But we are going to do a small change before that. so everything is is bullish we go to verify this uh, new application It's almost done. Okay, so it, it already finished and it um, launched my browser in the page for the new website demo deployment that's your websites dot net and this is just the basic uh, ASP.NET template so now one thing we are going to do is um, <coughs> sorry just a sneeze um, one of the things we are going to do is create a couple of branches. I am going to create a 
making a new branch for development. Let's just put it develop. branch for release or production or however we want we want to do it name it so let's go to develop right let's just leave it there actually let's push those three just so they are created in the, in the server Okay, so now we can go to our website in Azure and we will see that in the settings we will find deployment uh, slots. demo deployment web deployment source yeah in the settings deployment source and we are on demo deployment web or a project here um, we configured or uh, deployment source. In this case, we know the project is in GitHub, so we choose GitHub. Um, one of the things it will do is like I already have it authorized, but it will show us like in the authorization. You just click it, it click authorize, and it will request you for your um, GitHub credentials and your organization. In this case, I am using a, my personal organization, right? Then it requests me for my project. In this case, the project I want is this test Git Azure deployment. And the branch I want, it's going to be, let's say, production. Uh, I'm not going to configure performance tests. We wait for it to be configured. We see that it's already fetching the files from um, the GitHub repository. So let's see how that that goes. Okay, so it already configured those deployments. So what we can do now is um, let's do a small change here. Or let's verify that we are on our develop branch, right? So let's do this this small change. Let's go to home index. Getting started. Develop branch. Oh, um, testing continuous integration. Okay, so now what we do is like let's just commit these changes. Um, adding small changes. Let's just put that uh, commit all and post in this case because I am the only one working on it. Okay, 
so we already have this change in our um, in our in our develop develop branch okay now we go to merge develop in current branch I already I, I moved to production and then chose um, merge it and what we can see is that the changes that it's trying to get are just the it's just the file I just I just um, modified and now if I push this change I push it to production pushing it and now if we go to Azure once again we will now see that on our deployment source it's already doing this deployment from the production branch it's actually also building the solution so if there is any compilation error on the project that those compilation errors uh, we will see them here so let's go to the URL and see if the change succeeded getting started testing continuous integration now what happens if we go back to our develop branch right we now go to our controller let's say go to home index and forcing a compilation error forcing compilation error that of course will give me a compilation error and let's just say that by mistake someone pushed that change integration build errors okay so I think that change and since I am develop it's going to um, push that change in the develop branch right so let's just see okay this change is, uh, is on the develop, develop branch and let's just merge develop in current branch which now is production because I just changed it this is the change that I will have and it's requesting me to push the change so I click OK here We go back to Azure. We will see on the deployment source that it's already trying to build that it's already trying to build this um this last push I made into the production branch and it's going to fail because it has a compilation error. Okay, so it already failed. I can click this, so it gives me the details of this build, and then 
I can see the error here, running deployment command, and I can go choose view log. And on the view log, I see the commands, the command line, and it uh, tells me that there is an error in the file homecontroller.cs line 13, right? So if I go to line thing I see I have this compilation error right and that's the um, it's actually the error so I can just let's say I go back to develop branch right um, I got to fix the error let's just make let's just make some other small modification okay fixing build error let's just verify it right okay let's just commit this change fixing compile Compilation error. Commit. Let's just see the changes, right? Sync. So it already sync my changes in the develop branch, which is the one I had checked out. Okay. And now I go back to production and merge develop in the current branch, which is production, and push the change. Once that's there, I see that I have this fixing compilation error and it's building. We just wait, <laughs> we just wait a couple of uh, moments so that the build finishes and then we can just go and verify that the website has been deployed. And this is website deployed with the latest fix we just did. That's uh, how you can configure um, Azure with continuous integration using using GitHub. Thank you so much.